Hey, 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 hey. Um, so I um I just did my hair on some braids. I just washed it, deep conditioned it, um, and now I'm getting ready to um put in a new style. So um first let me make a disclaimer. I got struggle braids. I'm not a good braider, so um when I saw this tutorial on YouTube, I'll link the video that um, inspired me below. When I um, saw this um, tutorial on YouTube, I was like, oh, I could do that. It's only four braids. So we'll see what happens, how this comes out, but um, come on along with me on this journey. Okay? trying my best to kind of make the parts clean because if I was to do like the um, right side part or left side part I would be a clean part Um, so this is my braid pattern. <laughs> Girl, juicy braids, right? But we go, we go work with these struggle braids. We gonna see what we come up with. So I actually put in my first braid. Um, my first. Um, they're kind of like um, um, locks. So um, this is the Bobby Boss lock. I just got that at my local beauty store. Um, in one B, the length is an eight inch. So I didn't want it to be too long, and so it comes with 16 eight inch in the package. Um, so these are what they look like. I got in your lock so that they lay good. You want to insert them going down. So uh, my my hook is closed. One, one finger, then put it in, get the hooks, so locate your hook, tie your hair to the hole, pull it back through. Two. I think they're gonna be super cute. Be super cute. I like a short look because I just feel like it's not a lot of hair to get all over the place. So then do that again. Put your hook facing down. One finger, one up. So I'm going to try to focus the tiny ones towards the front, the bigger ones towards the back. So the first part is just making sure you're covering up that braid, and once you cover up that braid, then you're going to 
Okay, so I am done with my first row. Look at that. Um, when I got closer to the back, instead of where the braid is a little bit thicker, instead of going all the way through, I just did it up at the top. And I'll show you when I get up to right here how I did that instead of um, kind of covering the top of it and then it doesn't look so quite so chunky. So, um, next up is um, you're going to do kind of like an invisible. Um, an invisible row. So you're gonna pretend like there's another braid right here, and then you're gonna lay another set of um, locks right there. Holes are not as friendly or as defined. Now my first one is then you're gonna still go one finger length apart, finger width apart for your next um block. covered go back in and fill in um any areas that are looking kind of sparse you want to go down with your line with your hook you want to do it close the latch pull up one finger part and this one i'm not going all the way through the braid i'm just going through the top of the braid because um, I don't want it to look so clumsy because my braid is really fat. So I'm just doing the top of the braid and then that should give me some decent cover. Again, and just the first top part of the braid. Cover it too. So got my first braid, my second braid, and tighten these a little bit, and now we're going to move into this area. So um, we are going to start as close to my center part as possible, go back, and then I'm going to slide the braids down, and then we're going to add another bow about the, the locks. because this is totally a protective style. Uh, we'll see how long it will last me. Um, but I love a good protective style, especially I live in Western New York where it is cold and printed and in these weather, your hair definitely takes a beating. So anywhere where it can be nice and conditioned and nice and conditioned and then put it on a paid like $40 for the nine pack. Oh. And in the background, I'm watching the news um, with all that's going on with the Capitol and the rioting and um, the inauguration. I'm trying to stay informed um, it's Saturday morning and so I don't get a lot of time to be able to just tune into the news so that's what I'm doing on um, so um the new year oh, let me move my TV because that's a mood it's commercial anyways uh, what does everybody have as their goals and the things that they want to accomplish for the new year 
where are you guys with um, identifying Oops. 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 take it out and reinsert it and I will wrap it. Uh, the great thing about the locks is that even though they get raveled, it is already a distressed look, so it doesn't matter if you mess up the, the hair or what. They're not perfect. Just... So, um, this year, um, I have actually chosen the word balance to be my word that I'm going to focus on, that I'm going to try to, um, everything that I do is going to be around um, the word Balance. I'm trying to find a lot of balance in my life. Um, starting with self-care. Um, last year, I just kind of, not let myself go, but I just didn't spend as much time with Nasha as I should have. So this year, I'm trying to include self-care in my balance. I was a couple more over here that I can fill in and now I'm in the back so it doesn't matter which way my hands are that. and these are they're not very bulky so when you um close them they don't look super unnatural or maybe it's just because there's not a giant braid there that's the pack number four and so if I do four on each side I give me eight pack with one pack left over that I can fill in any empty spots. So I'm going to do the other side and then I will come back with the finish. Ooh. Hey beauties, um, I'm back. And so it's been a couple of days and I have finished the hairstyle. No, it did not take me a couple of days to finish, but um, life happened. So here I am, I'm back, and here is the finished product. I think it came out so good. And the fact that there's only four braids underneath here is perfect. Oh my gosh. And it looks like they are coming out of my scalp. Look at this. And if I want to do like a side part, I can rock me a side part. Everybody has been complimenting me on how cute it looks, how natural it looks. They keep asking if this is my real hair. Um, it looks, the texture, the color is perfect. And a middle part. And so you can't even see the big giant braid. Let me get a little closer underneath. Like, so the braid is there, but you can't really see it because there's hairs coming all out of it. So this is the final look. You can do a couple of styles with it. Um, you can just wear it down like this. You just saw the side part or the one I've been messing with is kind of like two little uh, pigtails, something like this. So these are just um, little black rubber bands. So give me a few little pigtails, like this, something like this, something like this. You can even drop one of these little bad boys down for a little one in your hair. Um, keep those out. Uh, so I did use all nine, all nine packets to get this look. So you could do like a little half up, half down, but it still looks really natural. I love the length. So the length again is at eight inches, and this is the final look. So if you try to do this look, if you recreate this look for my recreation of this look, uh, go ahead and tag me, um, Kanasha Blue. Um, that's my Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload my videos. Okay, guys, thank you so much, and I hope you have an amazing week and that your 2021 has came out to an amazing start. So I will talk to you soon. Peace and love. Bye, beauties.